you gorgeous people of the interwebs. I hope you're having a fan dabby dozy day today. Today we're having a bit of an MS denim haul try on styling sesh. I love denim. I'm a fan. I'm wearing a bit of double denim at the moment. I am partial to a little double denim and a little triple denim. Uh, on the odd occasion. I'm working my way up to quadruple denim but I wanted to get some fresh denim for spring 2024 so the lion and I popped to M&S, that's Marks and Spencers, did a little vloggy vlog, took you with us. I'll have that linked down below and I wanted to try out um, some of their new styles. Now why Marks and Spencer? Well there are three main reasons why Marks and Spencer. First off it's affordable. It's affordable, it's M&S, the pricing, you cannot beat it. The second is um, they've got so many different styles, so many different styles. Actually, when I hit the denim section in M&S, I was a little bit overwhelmed by exactly how much there was to choose from. And the third reason, and the most crucial one for me, they do different lengths. They do short, regular and long. I am of the short leg persuasion. So this suits me very, very well. Now that's not to say um, they get it right every single time because something strange has been going on with the m and waistband sizing. Um, I am my regular UK size 18 in a lot of stuff and in some other pieces I have had to size up to a 20 or a 22 because while everything else fitted, the waistband itself was a bit too tight. I tried some stuff on in store. I bought a few things. I ordered a few things. I have those things and we are going to try them on together. I'm going to give you an idea of how I plan on using these pieces if they are a winner. I think I've got a couple that already I know are not going to be winners, but we'll get into that together. And I will also um, try and have everything linked in the description box. No affiliate codes. I think it would also be useful for me to share the product page shots with the models and everything like that. So you can see how it looks on the m and website and what it looks like on me, who is a five foot, three and a half, five foot four, stumpy little legged apple. So um, yeah, that should give you a little bit of an idea on body shapes. Not everyone is the same body shape as me, not everyone is the same body shape as the models, but hopefully it'll give you a bit of an idea. Now I went in specifically to look at the denim, but obviously I got distracted by other things. And the first thing I got distracted by was this jumper. There are things I love about this jumper and there are things I don't love about this jumper. And I think I have already made the decision that this is gonna go back. The things I love about it, I love the sleeves. I love the, the just the shape of the sleeves. I love the knit work on it. I love the length of it. What I don't love about it is the neckline comes up really high on me and I'm more of a V-neck kind of girl. The colour. I don't like the colour on me. I tried this on with a pair of trousers that I picked up from John Lewis as well and um, they didn't work out. And again, I've got short little legs. Those trousers are meant to be a crop and I'll have shots of me trying them on with this jumper and a shot from the product page. Now, love the colour, but it hit it exactly the wrong point. Those went back straight away. The next thing I got distracted by was this pair of pink wide, wide fit. These are wide fit loafers with this cute little bow on them. I've got my Vivea pointy flats but I fancied a pair of loafers. Slipped these on in store, had a little trot about, trot about, and I really, really like them. So I'm looking forward to wearing these with various bits and pieces, doing the classic dress up, dress down kind of thing. Tell you what these bows remind me of. These bows remind me a little bit of the Loewe Year of the Rabbit. They had the bunnies and, and they had a big bow and the bow was the ears. Really wish I had bought one of those. Something the lion spotted for me to try in store on the same rail is this skirt it's kind of this very light neoprene type thing uh, fabric it's got it's got fluff all over it it's got a little cut out at the back and it's got these cargo pockets on the side cargo pockets all the trend and a little drawstring elasticated waist while I think that the obvious thing for me to wear this skirt is 
going to be in a more sort of sporty with a sweatshirt and my Gucci sneakers. I think I could probably get away with um, wearing some pointy flats, maybe not my collar breeze, but definitely my Vivea um, pointy flats, I think I could go for, as um, as pointed out by a couple of you. The last thing you would have seen on that vlog that I tried on is this pair of, the, I'm just calling them the 50s style, um, high-waisted dark denim jeans with the little pleat or little seam. I have already worn these. I wore these over the Easter weekend uh, whilst visiting family and I felt so adorable in them. I wore them with my Fendi sneakers, Versace pink socks, pink shirt from M&S and I had my shirt tied up in a little little knot there in a kind of 50s styly. Really, really like these. Your feedback on these were you really liked these as well. And I'm very, very glad I bought them. If you're new to my channel, then hiya. I am Gwenny and I love luxury in all of its glorious forms. I also love denim in all of its glorious forms. If you enjoy luxury handbags, styling videos, that kind of stuff, then get down there, hit subscribe and ring my bell so you don't miss out on any of my shenanigans. Show the videos you enjoy the I've got, I'm doing it one-handed. Thumbs up, love, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Now for the first piece that I actually ordered after we got home, and that is this skirt. This is what I wanted to go in and try because I thought the waistband would be problematic on me. Um, so I wanted to go in and try it. Um, they didn't have them in stock at all, so I had to order it. And because I didn't know about the waistband, I thought I'm not even going to bother ordering in size 18. I'm going to go straight for the 20 and the 22. The 20 seems to work really nicely. And again, we've got these little cute little cargo pockets on the side. Otherwise, it is a very simple denim skirt, summertime, pair of Berkies, a cute little beach tote bag or my fishy. I could wear this with tights in the winter, tights and boots and a big jumper or somewhere in between. I think this could be, I don't know if work appropriate on a dress down day at work because it is a mini skirt but could definitely have a play around with making it a little bit more bit more smart casual on the smart side of smart casual. The next piece that I ordered and, and again I went for a size 20 and you can see this is in size length short is this and um, this is the Harper Super Soft Cigarette High Rise. There's a lot of going on in that name and um, it is super soft and it says it's stretchy and it is stretchy. If I just show you this that is very, very stretchy. Now, I'm not entirely sure about these ones on me. I like the built-in cuff on the bottom. I like the colour of these, but it's that kind of stretchy. I, these feel to me like they have to be skin tight on you to actually work. I felt like they were bagging around my middle. Again, the style, you can go a little bit more glamorous with a pair of heels with this kind of jeans, or you can go your boots, your trainers. I think if you like having that kind of super stretch, these will be a good shout for you. I'm just not sure these ones are for me. Um, they just feel a little bit too, it feels like there's just too much fabric going on for me. Next pair of jeans is the Boyfriend Ankle Grazer. And looking at the shape of them online, I thought I would take a risk and go for my usual size 18 and they are fine. They fit me really well. Again, I went for this kind of lighter denim. I'm feeling my lighter denim at the moment. Uh, this is made with recycled cotton. They've got turn ups, you can, these aren't fixed though, you can turn these down. Um, there's a little bit of distressing on them. Um, really, really like this style. It's, it's the boyfriend jeans, so it's meant to be a little bit loose, maybe a little bit baggier. It's an ankle grazer, which is great because that's what I kind of like. So it can show off your heels if you want to wear heels, metallic heels or just bright colored heels or even classic heels and a classic shirt and go, go classic with the style where you could go all out or you could go with your everyday trainers. Um, and I should be wearing these in Berkeys. These have a bit of stretch. I'll not do that one because that's got a hole in it. These have got a bit of stretch, but they are not like the other pair of jeans. They're not super, super stretchy. And I prefer this kind of denim 
don't like it when it's too stretchy. I prefer it to have some of its own structure. I managed to get my hands on the Palazzo wide leg trousers, but I wasn't able to get them in the darker colour, which is the one that I really, really wanted to try on. Um, I went for the size 22 for the Palazzo wide, and they are the right size because I did try these on in um, store but I tried them on in my usual size 18 which was one of the few sizes they had available on the shelves so this was really really popular style and um, there were just, <laughs> it was just no way no way those were doing up and the size 20 wouldn't have worked either so I've got a size 22 to try on in the short I think these can be wildly versatile I mean you'd think that there's not much you could do with a pair of wide leg trousers like this but I really am seeing boho chic a little frilly flowery top perhaps with your burkies and your fish crocheted fish bag and all the kind of 70s hippie vibes boho vibes but I could see this being also really sharp a real sharp piece in the wardrobe with a blazer with a fitted shirt whether you go for a, like a nice elegant pointy flat or a pair of heels i think these are surprisingly versatile i am unsure about these but only because of my own personal body shape my style i think yes i could make them work but it's my own personal body shape the fact that i'm an apple and these are a wide leg I would really have to wear something very tight and fitted on top to kind of balance out how much fabric there is going on down here and I'm not sure I'm prepared to do that but you will give me your feedback and you'll tell me what you think of my styling um, suggestions to go with this Palazzo wide leg jean because I was so disappointed with the green John Lewis trousers that didn't work out for me I had a little look-see to see what M&S might have on offer in the right kind of leg length for me and I found these <gasps> look at this green yummy scrummy okay not really bright bright acid green but kind of getting there i think this is going to be a really great color to either wear with some really good neutrals and this color will bring all the the fun to the neutrals or you could go all out and have some sort of really jewel tones it's, it's kind of a chartreuse color but a bit more green this would really cope brilliantly with bright pinks and things like that so i think this against neutrals blacks whites it would work they are just wide leg linen trousers um, I've got these in a size 20 because the waistband looked a little bit um, snug reading the reviews from the other people that had ordered these was really really helpful so it's a size 20 it's a short I'm very excited about these I have got a chartreuse shirt when I was thinking a kind of a drenched top to toe not exactly the same color but top to toe in um, similar shades of the same colour or different shades of the same colour or again go, go go with black go with a blazer go with dress down dress up I'm seeing Birkenstocks for kind of summer easy summer chic living popping around the town having a little sip in the pub garden of a glass of vino or a gin and tonic or something um, or I can also see this being a really good office option with a nice light shirt or something like that so this I'm very excited um, to play with so those are my M&S pieces that's my M&S haul you can let me know what you think of them having seen my styling ideas I hope you've enjoyed this video if you did please show it there I've got matte lipstick on so it's not working today thumbs up love and let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below have I inspired you to go looking for any M&S denim goodies for yourself there is more there that I would like to try but the honestly the selection the choice was vast and I found it all a little bit overwhelming but there is a denim trench coat that I mean it's worth a look isn't it I hope you've enjoyed this video until I see you yes you 
for the next video please stay safe be kind to yourselves be kind to others remember to double denim and bye bye